from Jam Street Media. You know, clients should be you're they're part of the team. Um and sometimes as creators that gets troublesome because we know how to do things, we know what sounds best. We we have preconceived notions. So really working with them and listening to their ideas and not just poo-pooing them. Figure, you know, you got to finesse. Okay, that's a great idea. Um, how about we do it this way? Because we think this will work better with listeners. That's when it's good to have metrics to back up your arg arguments. Because um, when someone wants to do a two-hour podcast, I will quickly pull out the metrics that show them that 35 minutes is much better for them. Um, again, some they'll push back. Well, oh, Joe Rogan does it. Uh, well, Joe Rogan can do that. That's what Joe Rogan does. But that's not going to work well for you. Um, again, keeping an open mind for new ideas. You know, sometimes the best podcasts do come out of a little Frankenstein and some team think, but at the end of the day, you have to have built up a relationship with your client that they trust you. They know, you know what you're talking about. And, and, and at the end of the day, they're going to listen to your suggestions. It's very easy to fall into the trap of just do whatever the client wants. You know, that's a sales thing, whatever the client wants, just make it happen. Okay. But if that's going to make the podcast bad and not get them to their KPIs, I'm not going to do what the client wants. I want them to understand this is why we want to make this the way we want to make it. And then finally, just being realistic about budgets. You know, um, well, if a company comes to you and says they want something that sounds this American life, make sure they have a budget for that. Uh, storytelling is expensive. Um, it might be something you're not versed in and you might have to outsource that. Uh, storytelling is awesome, but it's not a couple grand a podcast proposition. You know, you do want to set a budget for that. Um, and if their budgets are smaller and they want to do that, say, you know, we'll start with something conversational, you know, put some sound design in it, make it, you know, as expensive sounding as you can. Uh, but, you know, letting them know, you know, this is what things cost. And again, coming back down to really knowing your costs, what are, what is your time commitment, your producer's time commitment, you know, all of those things. So I know how much it costs to make a podcast for somebody. So when I know how much to make a podcast for, it's easier for me than to go and, and say, this is how much they cost. And and it is easy to fall into, okay, we'll do it for less just to, you know, kind of get one under our belt. And that's okay too. You know, when you're starting, sometimes you got to, you got to take it one in the chin, but, you know, but value yourself. Can't stress that enough in general.